All right guys, so I thought I'd bring you to one of my favorite family-owned Mexican spots. It's called Habaneros. It's in the middle of Aurora and Parker. Let's go try it out. show you outside they have everything kind of blocked off because of COVID so let's go ahead and try it um, I got a owner's favorite it's a burrito it's pretty big we how big this thing is it has bacon sausage chorizo um, chili inside and cheese breakfast burrito huge it's like they grilled yeah potatoes are good the tortilla is not thick the chili is hot okay you can get different kinds of chili mild hot and fuego super hot I don't do that one but this one is pretty good tasty you can taste the chili so everything is great for a breakfast burrito and it's fast all right, so I thought I'd try a different one. It's a chili relleno burrito, breakfast burrito. Again, I got hot. It's pretty decent size. Not as big as the other one, but again, it's grilled. Let's try it. The chili relleno is crispy inside. Chili's hot. I have egg and cheese this one's pretty good i like it it's first time trying it and i love chili relleno so this is another one you must try too the raspberry one regular donuts we got a cinnamon one and a swirl one again I'm not fancy on these names but I wanted to try this one it looks really good and different it's a cinnamon one very soft fluffy really good it's really cinnamony I love it and it's fluffy and soft just like it was just fresh made 
I like that. All right, so I have a chocolate donut, just a regular one. Everybody likes regular donuts, so I thought I would try it. Again, soft, fluffy. Chocolate's good. Perfect regular donut. No complaints here. I get. All right, so I have an apple fritter. Never had one of these before, so I thought I would try it because it looked and it's soft. It looks hard, but it's really soft. The apple. I think that's what it is, but it's really sweet. Frosting. Again, really good. These donuts are super soft. Recommend this donut place to try. And it's family owned. So help the local businesses. Alright guys, so I'm here at a pizza place called Colorado Pizza. There's three locations here as well as they opened in 2014 and I'm at the Parker one off of Cottonwood. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, so I brought the food home just because it is a pickup or delivery place. So I have the cheese bread. I'm just gonna try it out. It looks all cheesy. Got some marinara. Mm. The bread is so fluffy. So soft. And cheesy. Oh my goodness, it's good. I love it. And I'm a cheese head already and the bread is a plus so yes that is something you need to get all right guys so i have the 5280 pizza and we got an extra large for the family and this has sausage um bacon cheese pepperoni so kind of like a meat lovers pizza but it's the 5280. oh my goodness it's so cheesy i don't know which one i want Mm. Marinara is good. It's so heavy, the cheese is falling off. And it has ham. Sorry, I didn't even say that. It's so, it's so good. It has so much cheese. The pizza is a thin slice of thin pizza, which is great. Um, crust is great. Everything is just fits perfect into this pizza. Have a double take. Mm, it's so good. The marinara is perfect. I like it softly. And this is it. It's not dry. I hate dry pizza. Recommend it. For sure. Alright guys, so what is dinner without a dessert? So let's get, we got the cinnamon bread. Comes with frosting on the side. Mmm. Whipped icing is whipped, which is good. Bread is fluffy, a little bit. Cinnamon, I probably say you can put more cinnamon on it because I'm a really cinnamon in person, but overall, it's really good. I like it, it's a great dessert right after pizza. More bread, how could you go wrong? All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.